Hey there. Today we're going to be unbagging. It's the new unboxing. If you didn't know, I'm just kidding. We're going to be unbagging a purchase from the premium outlets from a, I'm going to call it dupe brand that it's, it's kind of circulating around the YouTube space. Um, it, the brand makes a lot of bags that are very similar to a lot of the styles that um, we all know and love. So I decided I wanted to try one out that is from a very exclusive, a very exclusive brand. Um, one that you can't get your hands on very easily. <clears throat> so we'll see how it works out. I don't have a lot of hopes, but you know, it wasn't that expensive. So we'll see how it turns out. If you want to know more, stick around. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. It's about treating yourself to a little bit of luxury, whether that be your favorite fragrance, skincare, makeup, your cup of coffee that I need a little bit more of because I'm really tired this morning, um, or handbags, designer handbags, contemporary handbags, whatever makes you feel a little bit better about yourself because you deserve a little bit of luxury here and there. So I decided to venture into this um, brand from the premium outlets. Um, I've come across it several times actually from Gilt. Rue La La has had them. Premium Outlets has them. They have their own website so they are a legitimate, I guess would be the way to say it, business. It, it's been around for a while and several people are buying um, bags from them. Um, they're definitely duping other styles. I wouldn't say it's a complete replica, but um, some of them, it's it's pretty close. I, I Other than not having the branding, it's pretty, pretty, pretty close. Especially this particular one, to me, looks really, really close to the original design. But there's other ones, um, like the peekaboo that they have is not quite as close to the, the real authentic peekaboo. Um, their Chanel bags don't look anything like, in my opinion, the Chanel bags, but they're they're very similar. Um, the rock studs, they have, I mean, they lit every brand you can think of, they have some iteration version of one of the, um, designer bags you're looking for. And they're quite reasonable from these secondary um, sellers. So um, from their website directly, I think this particular bag was $340. I paid $150. Um, and I think without the coupon, it would have been $180. And we'll see once I unbox it. They claim to be full leather, um, high quality materials, all that. So we'll see, you know, if that's, if that's true. I'm having a hard time thinking it's worth what's on their website, the full price, but we'll see, um, once we get into it here, but, um, <laughs> I'm grabbing onto this. You might hear the, the the way that's packaged leaves a lot to be desired, but that's just my opinion. So we'll get into it. Okay. So, um, yeah, I opened, <laughs> I got the box and I was just like, wow, that was uneventful. So it, it came, you know, just thrown in a box wrapped in plastic and, um, a little label on there so it says Tiffany and Fred full grain soft leather crossbody camel um NS that's about it and it says camel on this sticker this printed sticker then there's this little like tape right here that says caramel so I'm not sure which is which is correct, but I believe their website calls it Camel. My goodness, Dolly. <laughs> I'm boring the pugs, so let me move on to my story. So it came in this um, little bag, which the dust bag is very reminiscent of a, of a certain brand without the, um, you know, 
area letter on there. <clears throat> so that was nice. So it's a very nice um, dust bag for sure. Wrapped in. It's way smaller than I thought. I, I'm becoming very um, bad at reading the um, measurements. So this is tiny, 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 tiny. So if you are not familiar, this is a dupe for the Halzon um, from, from Big H. And I mean, it's cute, but this, this is a tiny bag. <laughs> I am going to um, swallow this bag up with my giant body. So it's cute. It's cute. I go, I'm not going to lie. It's cute. But um, I already know that this is like microscopic. How how big is this? Let me do centimeters since that's what it would be in the... Uh, this is 22 centimeters. Oh, I, think they can, I think the 25 is the smallest that they make in, uh, in big H. And the... It's about an eight and a half um, at its longest point down there. And this is not even gonna fit my phone. So this is like why I need to do better. I'd say about two inches wide. Yeah, about two and a quarter inch wide at the bottom there, very narrow at the top. So it, Oh, wow. And the back, there's two slip pockets back here. That's not going to fit my phone. I have the giant iMax, um, iPhone Max, Pro Max. So that's not going to do well. This is going to be a literal. And then there's two right here as well. Interesting. Comes with a cute little dust bag, though. So this is the brand. I forgot to say that the dust bag is very nice so interesting that it comes with this and this so thanks interesting there is a strap it looks like I don't know what this is A leather sample. Huh, that's nice. There is a little um, piece of styrofoam in there to help it keep its shape. I mean, it feels really nice. I'm not gonna lie, but it is tiny. She tiny. Slip pocket in there. She might. Yep, it might fit my phone. I don't think so, though. I'm pretty sure that's... I mean, she might. Unfortunately, I'm filming on it, but I will insert some B-roll of... if the Pro Max fits <clears throat> in there. What is this? I'm intrigued. Oh, cute! It's a little charm. Well, that's a bonus. That would have been like another 700 bucks from, <laughs> sorry. Oh Lord. That's cute. That is cute. Okay. Thank you. That is a very nice add on. I probably should put it on the strap, but that is cute. Cute. I take it off because I think it would actually go better on another purse. Okay, so it comes with the strap all neatly put away. I will say the leather feels really, really nice. So, I mean, props. It smells great, but it doesn't smell like plastic. Yeah, I mean, it's, 
let's go say it. It sounds like a really good quality shoe, right? The little um, latches in there are covered in plastic that is not forgiving. close-up of the dust bag that was around it when I first opened it and the dust bag that came with it inside. There's the little charm. Here is the bag itself. I did get the strap. So it has the one large compartment and then um, when you lift up the straps, there are these two slip here and two slip on the back. And this is what I was talking about when I was, there's no way on God's green earth that my phone will fit in these. And I don't even think that my old iPhone would, yeah, would fit because I had an XR before um, or 10R, however you say that. So that won't fit, but I have over here a bunch of things I would typically carry. So some sunglasses, pen case, car keys, that's one set. Another set is in here, coins, my typical wallet and a catch-all and that's not going in there, but let's see what we could possibly get in here feasibly. So I'd have to have my phone, which technically could fit back there, but that's kind of throwing it off. So I'm not sure that's best. So we'll throw that in the center. Let's see, can, nope. So my typical wallet will not fit in there. So I'd have to grab a card case. So similar to this coin, the car keys could fit. So I will use this one. Let me go grab another card case that I would typically, if I'm not carrying this one, let me go grab one that I would normally grab. So if I had to, go down to a smaller card case, I would do something like this one from Dior, which is um, two in the front, two in the back, one center compartment. We'll just throw it in as is. So there's still a little bit of room there. I'm still finding it quite awkward with these straps, how this lays. It all fits fine. Um, so I can't fit the pen case. I can't fit a catch-all. I'd have to just grab maybe my mirror and the fragrance and a lippy out of the catch-all. So let's see if I can get the mirror in. Maybe I'm back. You know, I'm gonna do the card case back there, put the fragrance here on the side, put the lippy here on the side. And that's probably the best I'm gonna do. I might be able to put some sunglasses on the top here, but that is quite restrictive. So, I mean, I might be able to slip like a parking ticket, you know, valet thing. These are so tight. So this size bag is not gonna, I would never buy this from the normal brand. I would definitely get a larger one. Maybe sunglasses could like sit here. I don't wanna do this to my Fendi's, but so I don't have them in a, yeah, that's too tight. Um, I don't have any skinnier lenses. So 
I mean, I, you could probably hook some off the back there, but I'm sure they'd fall. So it's just way too small for me, but if you're a tiny bag girl and you can carry very minimal items, this would probably work for you. Um, and it's quite reasonable in price. I mean, the leather feels fine. Um, the craftsmanship seems fine. It's just way too small for me. And this was really fussy. The strap was really fussy. So I would be carrying it like this all the time. So I don't know, it's not really for me. Okay, I have to tell you, this is like the most poorly designed bag on the planet. The straps go through that back hole and then in through here and it interrupts this pocket here. I just think that's incredibly stupid, but who am I? So I put um, it on the second notch in there that has made this incredibly short. So it's no longer, in my opinion, crossbody worthy for my frame being as large as I am. Um, I don't even think if I let it out to the next one, it would be possibly crossbody. It's definitely a shoulder bag, but the whole point of this was to be a crossbody um, bag. So the leather is beautiful. The design is cute. Is it something I would spend five or six thousand dollars from Big H. Um, for you know the larger sizes, yes, yes, I would. Um, I'm. I would assume that their their mechanism is better. I'll have to see one in person to determine that. I haven't. I I know very little about this bag from the other, from the main designer. Um, I've just seen it here and there and then some listings on eBay. So I don't know enough about its um, versatility. I just think it's really cute how you can carry it this way and with the fold over. I think that's just a really cool design, just really different. And that's why I was intrigued with this purchase. Um, I wish, why is this not wanting to sit down? So with that strap in, it doesn't want to lay down properly. So that's kind of crappy. I almost want to find another mechanism to work with it. I'm sure I can find on the aftermarket a longer strap but there was, there's no way in hell that this is um, gonna work for me as is. It is heck of cute though. For 150, I'm, I'm not exactly mad at the leather. I'm not mad at the technical design of it. Um, I think all of the different pockets and the different ways to wear it, I think, there's great thought in this. Um, I just think the execution is poor. This comes in white, ivory, black with white stitching, and then this camel caramel um, tone with the white stitching from this particular brand. I know Big H makes it in a lovely, um, like a tube, uh, every, you know, all the, all the shades. So, if you want to try this particular brand, it's limited, but you have to want a tiny ass bag. And excuse my language there, but I might bleep that out. It's a tiny, tiny, tiny bag. You need a small phone, not carry a whole. So if you're a tiny bag girl, this is your bag. It's done well. I mean, as far as stitching goes, I am in this glazing everything. I mean, 
quality wise, I'm not, I'm not mad at it, honestly, but I'm not the biggest fan of the execution of it. So that's, those are my thoughts. I'm a little bummed that, um, it didn't work. It's not going to work out like I hoped, but you know, it, you live and you learn, you try and you fail. So it is what it is. That is my review. Although, you know, bonus points for this and two dust bags. I mean, that's, that's nice. So that was fun. Very cute. All right. So if you want to try Tiffany and Fred, don't pay full price. Go to premium outlets, go to guilt, go to, um, rule Ru law has them all the time. Um, maybe try a different style, pay attention to the dimensions. Don't be like me. Do not, do not do what I do. Do as I say, don't do what I do. <laughs> um, and yeah, if you like to try out styles, which is what I like to do, try out the style before you spend the big bucks on them. This is a good way to, to do it. So those are my thoughts. If you have any thoughts, comments, ideas of similar styles, similar methods to get the look for less, let me know. I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.